Hi there, today I'm going to be talking about double. So I'm not going to be trying to sell you the cards or anything. I'm just going to, to show you how we can use that in the educational context. So uh, you probably know double already. You can see the pattern on the card. You have some patterns on it. And if you recognize the pattern on the table and you have it on your card, you just put it down. And the one who's finished um, putting all their cards down win. There are several games. Uh, it's got also spotted in the US. Uh, it's a really, really fun game, and I think that it is really uh, applicable very nicely into the classroom in, in all subjects, to be honest. So you could be do, obviously doing that in languages. Uh, you could be revising your periodic table in science. You could be doing some uh, capitals in uh, maybe in geography or something. But you're going to have to twist a little bit uh, the uh, the rules. But I think uh, it's it, there's a lot of potential. The algorithm behind creating the cards is a bit eye-watering, it's a bit quite complex, but uh, there is a very, very cool website I'll show you later on uh, that you can use where you can upload your icons that you're going to be creating on Canva, and uh, you can make some very, very fun cards for your classroom, or maybe you can ask the children to create their own ones who can contribute and do some stuff at home for revising, playing with their family. It's really up to you what you want to do with it. I'll show you what it looks like and you decide what is the best for your context. Right, let's go. Okay, so this is the website we're gonna be using. It's called Double Like Generator. Again, we're not trying to make any money. We're just trying to be using that in the education context. And you're gonna be creating your cards. So uh, if you have a look at two possibilities, you upload images or load examples. So if you do that, you have lots of stuff which is being created already there. You can see with the, all the number of uh, all these ones here that you have here, you can create 57 cards with 80 images. There's different things you can do, different numbers. I will mention that in the uh, description of the video, but I will uh, especially show you how this works. So it's just a question of uploading and downloading things uh, and creates a PDF format afterwards. It's super straightforward. What you want to do is actually, even if you're working with animals, well, this is a perfect thing. You don't have to worry too much about it. You just get the right number and you can start dealing and creating your cards. However, if you want to be creating some other stuff, you just need to upload images and that you could have on your computer. Let's create our own images on Canva and there's a very, very quick way to be doing that too. So um, let's pass on to Canva. Okay, see here I am in Canva. Okay, here what I did is, it's really straightforward when you start from Canva. I've created logos. Uh, it just fits the right size and obviously you can add, go into your elements and add whatever fruit or vegetables or whatever topic you're talking about or your periodic table and stuff like that. Whatever you want to put in there uh, is straightforward. So if you put images, it's, it's just quite straightforward. You create your logos, you duplicate your image uh, and just put things at the right place. When you've got to, to download it, obviously you download as a big bulk. I've done mine already. Uh, it's super easy, just going to share, you download, and you download your 15 images at the same time that you can upload anyway at the same time afterwards, so all your images will be there, okay? That's nice and easy. However, if you want to add some text, there's something which makes it even faster than that. So let's have a quick look. We are going to be using uh, the bulk create in Canva, so I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here I am in Canva. What I want to do, I want to create some logos. So you can see I've got a logo here. I want to create a blank logo. In my case here, again, I don't really want to be creating images with um, or, or cards with pictures. That's super easy. You know what to do. You go into Elements, pop them there, create bulk, download, done, upload it onto your um, uh, the double make a card. So what I want to do here is just want to create some text. I want to create some chunks. You could be trained to be creating chunks and images if you wanted to. So people have got two possibilities, matching the text and matching the images. You can just do the images or just, just text or just chunks. Uh, as you know, it's easier to learn chunks uh, for cognitive uh, overload. So let's do that. Uh, what I need to do here is just need to click T for text. So I go here, T for text and create text. I want to be using a different font, so up to you. I like the tree one. I'm going to make it 40. So it's big enough. There we go. Now pop it in the middle if I can. There we go. Done. Now, what I need to do now is I need to make create and uh, I need to go into apps. So if you click on apps, because I want to bulk create, so go into apps and you have all sorts of things here that you could be using. You have uh, 
some uh, apps you can link it with bitmojis you can link with also qr codes and stuff like that. i already have so used it before so i need to go on to bulk create okay so i've got bulk create here it's nice and straightforward i'm going to enter data manually i've got two columns here i just need the one i just clear the table and here i am going to be writing chunks uh, what I need to do now is I could either enter manually all of the chunks that I want to, to write down, or which must be contained into my cards, whatever I've been covering in class. It's nice and easy to do. Or you could be going even faster and go on to sentencebuilder.com if you use it. Uh, so I'm just going to be there. I move my head around. I'm going to go on to resources. I'm going to do some Spanish primary this morning. So I'm going to go there. Primary. Book one, I'm going to be using Mi Mascota. I seem to be going back to that one all the time. I like that one. Uh, so uh, you have that button here. You have your sentence builder. Uh, click on here. I need to generate to have a, a good number of 31 chunks. Okay, so I am going to copy chunks and sentences. I'm going to go on to 40. I want vocab chunks on the Spanish. And I click on copy. Now I'm going to go on to my, here, my chunks. I just need to paste command Z, control V, boom. Okay. And it's going to be creating all of that stuff done. So it's done already. I click on done. Now, what I want to do, I want to link this text to my chunks. So I need to right click onto the text, connect data, I need clicking to end can see that it's changed into chunks. I click on continue and now I've got all of the chunks that I've created which are actually linked. Generate 40 pages or 40, not 40 pages in this case here, it's just going to be 40 uh, logos. Uh, here you may have a little bit of work to do if you want to center them or maybe make it a little bit bigger it will be up to you. I'm not going to bother too much in doing that because it's just the example. Okay, so I have my 40 uh, logos done. I'm going to go into share. Then I'm going to go into download and download as PNG because they need to be images. Download. And it should take a few seconds. Done. I'm going to open it because it's a zip to make my life easier for later. Now, if I go on to double spot it, you can see I've created some stuff earlier on. Let's do it from scratch here and I'll go back on. Obviously, the link will be in the description of the video. Upload images. Now, I'm going to go into download and this one. I control A or command A to select everything and open. And there we go. Okay, you have all of these things which have been created. You can see that here, because I created 40, I only need 31. I need to get rid of nine to create 31 cards. If you want to create more and you have 57 cards, you need to have 70 more chunks. It's really up to you to have eight chunks per card. But I think with six, six chunks in on the card, it's plenty, to be honest. You can do even less if you wanted to. So I'm going to get rid of um, of some of them. You can see just across on them. So get rid of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, done. Now I can download straight away. It should be also pretty quick. And we're going to see the final uh, product in a few seconds. There we go. My cards are being created and you could, if you wanted to, again, to make it a bit more fun, you could be having some uh, different colors instead of having some black and white to make it a bit more enticing. Some of them are quite small, but it's a part of the game of uh, double where things are popped up a bit bigger and smaller and things like that. So. Uh, you could have again uh, lots of uh, possibilities. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you some stuff that I've done before with some of the cards. Okay, and here is one I've done here with uh, some fruit and vegetables. Okay, so again, it's uh, it's nice and simple. It's not super professional, 
but uh, it's a kind of nice educational thing that you can actually do in class. You can work on different things. And again, if you do it with Capitals of the World or if you do it with um, the periodic table, when you're actually playing the game, you, instead of, you know, you can mention what is, you know, uh, uh, oxygen and uh, tungsten and all of that. And the other thing you can be doing that way or here, in, you're putting down, the, you, people will have to speak in the target language and you know, say uh, chou-fleur and uh, pastec and things like that. Or we'll do it in Spanish or in Italian or whatever works. It's it's a good way of speaking and practicing the chunks. It will be exactly the same if I go back onto the ones that you have here before. Uh, people will have to speak whatever is written on the card, el pelo castaño, and put it down. So that will be like a rule or something where they have to actually put down, put, read what's written on the card and put it down after they won't be able to be putting it without reading it. I think it's really important. Okay, so hope this has been useful. And uh, feel free to uh, ask any questions if things have been clear enough. But I'm sure you can, through that video, create something super exciting for your classes and make it super entertaining. Love to see you again and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.